you've made your Tier 3 Blood Altar, one of the next things you're going to want to create is your Magician's Blood Orb. In order to create that, you get a block of gold and you put it inside your Blood Altar. That is a block of gold, not a gold ingot. The next step in the Reinforced Slate is the Imbued Slate. That goes, of course, Reinforced Slate in the Blood Altar. Now. The next rune that you're going to be able to create will be a rune of augmented capacity. That will increase the amount of blood stored by your blood altar. So that's very handy, especially when making some of these blood orbs when they exceed the capacity. In order to create this, you're going to want three buckets, an imbued slate, your magician's orb, and some stone. That will be used towards making your tier 4 altar. Now, one of the things you are going to need in order to make your Tier 4 Blood Altar is a large bloodstone brick, and I will show you how to make that in a moment. I'll show you the dimensions first. As you can see, it is an 11 by 11 square, and it is one block underneath the last layer of runes. The bloodstone is going to sit one layer above the glowstone. So as you can see, that is at the sixth layer. In order to make a large bloodstone brick, you're going to need something called a weak blood shard. I'll show you how to get those in just a moment. And you're going to want to put that in with the stone, and that'll make you your large bloodstone brick. In order to get weak bloodstone shards, you will have to kill enemies with a bound sword. And in order to make a bound sword, I will show you that process in the next video, as it's quite complicated.